Oh, oh. What are we doing here? We Where are we? Ah, oh, here we are, look through the bushes here. What have we got here? It's Sarah Alex Ferguson way. Ah, oh, it's not even a match day. Where is everybody? It's a ghost town. It feels like we've just fast forward six, seven years and we're, we're in League Two. United are in League Two and this is a match day and nobody goes to see United. It's like a scene from a movie, a futuristic movie. The once great Premier League club has fallen. Attendance is now 300 and there's no one here. And still, Donny van der Beek is on the bench. Right, so, <laughs> as you can maybe tell by the title of the video. There's no title of the video, I haven't done it yet. Well, the, the title topic, of the video the when the video is done, you people mean? People are watching this video, they're watching this So, video, whether so you're watching what, this what, what, what the title eight is. hours ahead, six hours behind, or on a different day, yeah? Anyway. anyway. Well, it's not complicated things. You're complicating things now, aren't you? No, I'm not complicating things. Anyway. Right, so we're at the... So we're going to Theatre the of Disbelief, otherwise known as Old Trafford. We're it's Saturday. It's match day. We're playing Brentford at 5.30. It's, it's now about stadium. half one. or And we're uh, we're off to have a look at the uh, the green kit, aren't we? And we have... For clarification, we have a, we have applied for our first three away games, which is Brentford, Southampton, Leicester. Did we get any? No, we didn't. So <laughs> yeah, we that's do apply on the away game situation. <laughs> yeah, we get frustrated. We do apply for away tickets. Obviously, you see the ticket holders. But it's the just a lot. We only got two last season. But uh, you go into the ballots, and then it's just a lottery, and you know it's just very difficult to, to get away tickets. Otherwise. We would go to every away game, so we're hopeful that one day we'll get an away game this season or two. It's very quiet here. It's up one. It's also very hot. It's about 30, 31 degrees. It's hotel football. It's very busy on match days. It's quite a good atmosphere in there. Next time we'll be down there will be uh, a week on Monday night when we play Liverpool. It's eight o'clock kickoff. History all along this wall. I'm not good with the heat, guys, so sorry if I look a bit out of it. You're always out of it, mate. Right, make a store entrance. Let's head over. Bit of merchandise. Right, let's pretend we're going through an airport security. Take everything out of your pockets, keys, wallets, coins. It's not like airport security. You don't have to take off your belt or anything. No, here we go. Our safety together. Let's get in the mega store. This is what we've come here for. This is the uh, third kit which was revealed yesterday morning, which is Friday morning. Um, players will be wearing this kit for today's game against Brentford.
the same size as your Same others. size as my other ones, which is a medium. How's it feel? Okay. Feels very nice. It's a medium, guys. That one's a medium. End plastic waste. How much is that? One hundred pounds. Jeez, man. Bear in mind, this is the. We do get, This yeah. is the. Hundred pounds. Now, one thing to look out for, I didn't actually know this, I don't know if you used them, but when they release kits, they have an authentic version, which is the one that the players wear. And basically, the only noticeable difference I've seen is the badges, like, you can't, well, you can probably see it, but look, it's textured. Whereas with this one, which is £75, the non-authentic version, it's that's, just... Is that like a sewn... Yeah, that's a sewn That's one. sewn on, but that, that's actually a bit of a... Yeah. I don't know. And that's not to say that that's plastic a, thing, isn't it? It's not to say that that's a fake or replica. It's just I think it's probably just United Way, you know, a cheap one, or you can have the more expensive, authentic one. So, so that that's seventy five. So that's seventy five pound for that badge. It, that's basically the only difference, I think. And a hundred pound if you want that badge. And that's with all Excellent. shirts. Excellent. There's a shorts. Nice and thin. So it's a woven badge. And the shorts are 35 pounds. And socks. And how much are the socks? 15 pound. They're quite nice. Let's see, got the, uh, the uh, ladies version. Kids' kits. It's tiny. It's tiny, isn't it? Can't get over how small that is. That is lovely. Look at this. I like the short design. I think the colour's really nice. These things freaking out. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, we'll shake on that deal. We'll shake on that deal. So I just noticed this actually. This is the bag policy, which looks ancient because all the fonts kind of bit dodgy. Really. But that's actually drawn to scale. So you're saying you're not allowed to take in a bag that size? No, but it's eight by twenty. So that, that probably is twenty centimeters. But you can't. What, what are you going to put in there? I mean, you can't. You, so you buy a program. You can't put it into a bag. Or I mean, what, what are you going to fit in there? Let's be honest with you. I mean, it's like wow. Well, I mean, if they say you, you're allowed to take those bags in. It covers that entire board. <laughs> it's a nonsense, United. Absolute nonsense. Just, I'm, I'm trying to fit into the It's crazy it's stuff. Though, what can I bring into the stadium? Yeah, well, what can't I bring into the stadium? Yeah, I think I'll leave my fireworks at home. And um, yeah, tools, I don't think I would bring any tools. And video recorder equipment. We are recording this on a phone, so with no chunky cameras that we're bringing in. We're not breaking any of these these uh, these laws or rules set by the club. 
Well, they're clamping down on uh, on flares and stuff. Well, aren't what they? they what you can bring in mega store purchases in mega store car bags. I want to stress the mega store twice. Uh -huh. Definitely want to. So this is actually allowed in. Well, that's a big bag, which in general is too big yeah, to get to stay. Yeah. Because you're only allowed to take small bags. So I'll tell you what they're doing there, because it's that big. I reckon they're putting a statue of Maran Fellaini up there. And they're just putting the top of his his hair just on the top. Just up there, you can't see. As a tribute to the uh, the legend that was Maran Fellaini. I think they're doing some painting, I think, aren't they? Isn't it? Yeah, they're doing... Do some painting, making you know, making Old Trafford look a bit presentable. Yeah, because if you see up there, look at that shade of brown. I think that, that might have literally just been faded. Yeah. Making it actually look red instead of uh, brown. Uh, guys, this is going back before COVID. This used to be our original entrance, where we used to sit in the lower east stand. Um, E34, E34, isn't it? Let's get inside the Theatre of Dreams. <laughs> yeah, we used to go there. If you watch our old match vlogs from a few seasons ago. Guys, that sums up. Sums up. <laughs> right, guys, that sums up today's quick video of the um, the third bit. I mean, to be honest, on second thoughts, will I actually wear it in videos? Because I don't know how long we'll be able to wear t-shirts before it starts to get the freezing temperatures that Manchester is well known for. Um, if we do any away games, then we do any away games. I'll wear. You'll, you'll, you'll see me a bit, but. Um, but yeah, you'll see. You'll wear it now and again. I wear it now, unless it brings bad luck. Because I'm sure we've had kits in the past. If we wore, if we wore a string vest, that would give us bad luck. If, if, if we wore, if we wore a tin foiled United kit, anything at the minute would give us bad luck. But it was an away kit a few years ago, 15, 16 season. It was like a black and orange design. People always used to say that gave us bad luck because we never won with it away. That conjures up images of Europa League, that. Yeah. Well, back to Europa League this season. Yeah. Anyway, I'll I'll, uh, I'll leave you to do whatever else you want to do on the internet. We'll catch up on the Liverpool vlog. Next one? Yeah. On Monday night. 22nd, isn't it? So, yeah. We could have put it on a Sunday. I don't know. Anyway. See you in a bit, lads. See you later. Subscribe. Take care. Enjoy the Brentford game. What's going on? You look a bit bewildered after that, don't you? Eh? What a bad result.